Well, don't think anybody was expecting this. Um, yeah, podcast is back. I must admit, our absence was entirely unexplained for the past year or so. Unfortunately, due to time restrictions of preparing for for IB exams, undertaking those exams, and then de-stressing after the horrendous exam period, uh, we haven't really had time to do the podcast at all. And we do uh, think about it fairly frequently, um, an example of which is why you're now hearing this now. A lot of things have happened we have all gone to university now. They've all grown up, we're about a year older. Which is why my voice may sound a little different now than it does in the following episode. Yes, I'm at the University of Newcastle, Martin, University of Durham, and Charlie, University of Kent. We're all studying interesting degree courses. I myself am doing computer science. And yeah, it's currently 1am in November 2016. About two hours ago, I was rifling through some old files on my computer and I found the unedited or partially edited podcast folders and files. And I thought, why the hell not? I've got nothing to do. Let's finish these up. And I rediscovered just why we did the podcast in the first place. Um, I remembered listening back to this audio just how much fun we really used to have doing this. If only for us, and not necessarily for the listeners. Um, It's been unbelievably great fun, which is why I wanted to at least get this up now for you to listen to. And, And yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to start doing episodes again, possibly. We could have a talk at Christmas or just beforehand and and speak about whether we can commit to doing podcasts more regularly. I'd really, really like to, personally, but I haven't spoken to these guys yet. Yeah. If you did listen to the original episodes and have somehow stuck it out to listen to this one, you have my undying gratitude and, indeed, sincerest apologies for just stopping we talk about it fairly frequently between ourselves See, I'm usually the brunt of the joke because I haven't edited it uh, but hey I've done it now hopefully you'll enjoy this again we're going to sound a bit young because this was about a year ago and who knows maybe there's more podcasts to come but anyway enough of me rambling onwards with the show and I have waited a long time to say that Enjoy. Oh, and one more thing from me. During this episode, we may make a slight mockery of those who play Dungeons & Dragons... As a legal disclaimer, the stance of the podcast has no malicious intent towards those who play Dungeons & Dragons. Indeed, we wish to play it ourselves at some point. Please don't take offence, it is only a joke. Anyway, handing back to Martin in 3, 2, 1. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Dice Cast Podcast. We've got great content for you today. We've got a game called Geek Battle, which makes it sound much more exciting than it actually is. (laughs) <laughs> well um and uh we've got we make fun of reddit we um talk to a scottish man it's all in there like you've, everything you've ever wanted since when have you become professional that's like a professional introduction really? yeah we've always rambled before just before it's just been just any sort of rambling but this is this just straight to the point i don't like clean it. as a whistle do you not like, like it, like no, it. I, get I, out I, then i no, but I'm using my new professional man, Matt. I'm firing you. You're I, out of the podcast. I need to be in the podcast. But I, I, I'm, I, I'm a key you player. Have, you have to redraw his face, man. I'll just, I'll just scrub it out. <laughs> Let's stick Paris Hilton in there instead. No, instead of Charlie. You've not got that bit in the thing yet. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking to the future. Okay, right. Oh, sorry. Enjoy the episode, guys. <laughs> All right. Cool. Far too professional. That was actually that was that was good. That was that was, <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> that was 
was decent, wasn't it? Yeah. Would you would you care to explain this crazy looking game to me? Because yeah. I have no idea. Oh, was the oh the twelve sword dies in there? Um, give me a sec. I'm about to get a dice. Oh, Martin's gone to find the D the D twelve. The D twelve. Well, we've got a D twelve by two, so but I'm finding it, a D twelve. It, it, it seems no, like no, 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 no. We need the D twelve. It's I, the coolest thing. I did style. one. I got to play Dungeons and Dragons today. We did. I did. I, I, Dragons and Dragons. I'm, 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 good, well. I'm going to be a paladin, but what was you going to be, Charlie? I don't know. I don't know. I've already played it before. Don't I'm you. going to play a dwarf named Ragnar the Brave. And, uh, I'm going to be Jeremy. <laughs> We're not actually playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, no, yes we are. Geekbats. Welcome what? to the Dungeons and Dragons special, everybody. <laughs> yes, we can have to keep this up for a while. Um, oh, oh. Oh dear, oh dear. So I'm going to um, set set a scene, right? So we're All walking right. along a road, okay? And All um, right, then. so there's me. Um, I'm a paladin. All right, I have All right. a lot of right. armor and a big and a big sword. That's right. right. And there's nice. you, and there's, cool. yeah, and there's you as well. Um, oh. What class are I'd, you? I would like to be a big freaking giant and yeah. trample on all of my. You enemies. could be, you could be a golem, like a like an armored, a, a, a what? An armored metal man. That sounds very very e- exciting. Right. And okay. That's my cavalry. So we have the magic paladin and the metal man walking along. And suddenly, there's a dwarf in the road. Oh dear, we must kick, uh, kick him out of the way. I'm a big iron person. I no, can... but oh. the dwarf might be useful to our quest. Which is? Uh, we need to recover the gem of magic. <laughs> I'm going to be DM. In this scenario, we look for the gem. The gem of Akatar. Yes, yes, yes. Has your, your metal man asked ask, ask the dwarf if... If he's seen the gem of magic. Alright. So, Mr. Dwarf, have have, have you seen such a, a gem of Do it in magical, character, Charlie! Uh, Do it in character! Mm. Keep in character. Come Excuse on. me, little man. Have you seen such a powerful gem now, of magic? What's your diplomacy skill? I don't really know, guys. I mean, a metal man can't be very good at diplomacy. No. So, I'm thinking <laughs> sort of. What, what, <laughs> one or two, maybe? Uh, three. We'll make it three. Three, okay, three. Uh, I should roll. I should dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a one. It's a seven. <laughs> okay. okay, so you get seven plus three. That's that's ten. I have actually. Would you like to see my gems? The dwarf then goes to pull down his trousers, and Charlie, the metal man, blanks. Right, let's um, let's go on to the. We've got half an hour left. What the hell was <laughs> that? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, uh, was... we... I guess we need to do this quickly then, don't we? That was very odd. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for that ever-loving segment. <laughs> Sell me a dream. That's the wrong segment. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You're not doing that. <laughs> You're right. Oh, Matt, it's okay. Okay, um... Thank you, wrong segment. Right, okay. okay this is uh, One Second Memory Lane, a segment where Matt will take one second of audio from a previous podcast and then play it and we have to think of... Me and Charlie and him obviously have to think of what it could be. What could it mean, Charlie? Put into it to a humorous... What does it mean? A humorous context. Well, debatable. Okay. Yeah. I've sucked at this before. Okay. Yeah. You. I'll do my best. Right. Don't worry. I, I chose a really long word for you in this. <laughs> Be belligerent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I've got a couple. I've got a couple. I've got a couple. Already. Yeah. So my first one is um, the advice I give any Dias Cast listener um, who has to listen to that Halloween episode. <laughs> that's an hour 40 minutes long oh yeah be belligerent you have to <laughs> oh, you, you've got to have to be belligerent that's what you have to do well said Martin well, well said uh, the other um, the other thing is, is that's actually the advice Matt gave me when um, my tactic as we expressed in the first episode Pilk of uh, taking off my uh, shirt and dancing saying you like me more when that doesn't work he, this was Matt's advice saying be belligerent he said that to me so many times and I was that's what you have to do. If you, if you mm-hmm. see somebody, you want them to be your girl. 
or or man or or, man, or, or, or end any sort of gender non-specific noun yeah. or dog or we. I mean, we don't discriminate any animal. Don't dance shirtless at dogs, please. No, uh, you <laughs> will, Charlie will call the RSPCA again. Yes. Okay. Uh, this actually, um, try again. Uh, this is um, uh, another one I thought of is. Um, when uh, when you're on Reddit and uh, the girl you like puts you in the friend zone, which doesn't actually exist. When when they put you in the friend zone, you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. <laughs> you can tell it's fine. Yes, you have to uh, be belligerent. Because otherwise, you know, they won't realise because you're a relative. You know better than them. R slash atheism. Tip my fedora, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like when you Reddit a character? I like that. I think it should be a reoccurring character. Well, the Redditor. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Redditor. Okay. He'll be back. We're adding new members. What, to the sort of. Dice Cart? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure next We're week expanding. I'll make fun of Tumblr as well. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, Charlie, have you thought of one? I'm, I'm, think, I'm, 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 I'm cooking one up. Nah, nah. This is this advice that um, the phrase... Be belligerent. Is what I say to uh, my two co-hosts thinking of an actual idea for this segment. <laughs> See, I'm not actually sure what the word means, so it could it's, be... Uh, persistent. Like, Oh, he shouldn't have told me. Warlike, oh. as well. Belligerent, uh, oh, persistent, warlike. or warlike. It means it, it's come to mean persistent um, in modern day uh, nomenclature. That that's not what Wikipedia said when I Wikipedia did it well, before. Wiki- Wikipedia can kiss my wiki. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I had to Google it because I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> kiss the wiki. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Still anything yet? Oh. You know that um, you know that saying, and it's like, oh, keep calm and whatever. Just Carry apply on. that, yeah. Keep calm, calm and okay, yeah. Keep calm and be belligerent. It works, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I suppose so. Although this is bad because that means that Charlie's thought of something and I haven't. Yeah, no, but that Matt, wasn't, Matt, that, that don't, wasn't don't, great. Don't, don't, don't worry. Keep thinking. Be belligerent. <laughs> I can't actually think of anything. Be belligerent. I'm I sorry. That, I okay. hate that feeling. I was. Be You're not to helping. Be to be fair, mine isn't great. So, 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 so you can't think of one. No. Do you want to come back to it then, if you think of one? Oh, he's, he's cooking up a formula. That's what uh, Jesse White says to Heisenberg in Breaking Bad. Be, be, belligerent. be belligerent. He takes puts on a British accent for I don't know why. It's a weird thing for Jesse Pinkman to do. You yeah, be belligerent, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If there's, a, if there's another Breaking Bad season, you know, and Aaron Paul is not up for the job, <laughs> sign, sign me up. Just leave it, actually. Be belligerent. Okay. Come back to it. If I think something, I'll have to weirdly okay, cool. edit it in. Sure, 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 it's fine. Uh, well, yes, back. that was a great idea that I had just then. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't edit it. <laughs> that was One Second Memory Lane. Pew! <laughs> that, was, that was a funny segment. That's a five minute segment. That was funny. I couldn't think of it. I can't. I still my Reddit. I love my Redditor. That's great. Reddit. Where's Reddit? Uh, it's um, so it, it's quite a cool thing. It's, it's sort of the idea of being like a front page of the internet. Where it sort of collaborates links and stuff to different things, but you get a lot of Reddit sort of um, subreddits and stuff that are very sort of polarizing, very extreme opinions. So you have like um, r slash atheism, which is basically just a bunch of atheists saying. <laughs> Religion stupid, isn't it? <laughs> fedora. <laughs> um, like a meme coming out of Reddit is the idea I of um, is the idea of fedoras being called. So it's just people just posting stuff. You, have you ever heard of a brony, Charlie? Oh, pony. Oh, it's, I have it, a friend. It, it, it's uh, it's sort of like an older male fan of My Little Pony that yeah. comes from Reddit. Really? That's where it comes from. Does it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't believe you. Are, are you guys? Are, are you guys bronies? Uh, um, never really thought about it to be honest. Yeah, um, my favourite uh, pony is Dave the <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave Dave the My Little Pony. Dave the yes. Donkey. I, I like the one where he went to the bar and drank all night. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one where um where, where where Dave the Brony went on Reddit and complained that he'd been friend zoned. <laughs> okay, good. Right, because he wasn't. Religion. That yeah. segment's over. The segment's oh, over. It's over. <laughs> or is the segment still going? It is technically. Oh yeah, technically. <gasps> okay, right. Close, close it. No, no. Oh, is that done then with that segment? Yeah, sure. So this game is called Geek Battle. Oops. So how this works is, um, so we, we, we've set up everything, and the idea is we have to reach the uh, center of the p- the uh, the board. 
Um, so yeah, on your turn, you you roll your six-sided die. Uh, you move however many forward, and because there are different um, coloured things on there, Matt will have a photo of it on screen. They mean different things. Oh, will I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're different kind of things, um, and and you go on them, and it, depending on what what one, that's the question you're asked on this um, the geek trivia question. And if you get it right, um, you can roll the d12, move yourself that many spaces, and your turn ends. Yeah. So uh, shall I start then? Yes. Martin sure. shall start. Okay. So um, what happens is uh, we'll have say Matt ask me questions, Charlie ask Matt questions, and I'll ask Charlie right. questions. Do I have to get a question out of the box? Uh, wait, wait, wait till okay. I um. I shall wait. What kind of questions are they? Uh, geek. geek trivia. Presumably from the title Geek Battle. Uh, so right. that's a five. So, ask me. Right. Uh, which of these numbers is closest to the speed of light? A, 3,000 kilometres per second. B, 30,000 kilometres per second. C, 300,000 kilometres per second. D, 3 million kilometres per second. Uh, is it 300,000? The answer is 300,000 kilometres per second. Congratulations, So I roll, I roll the D12... And I move six. six. Matt, wow, you've, you've made great progress. Right, it's my turn now. Do I roll this dice? Yeah. Right, I shall You're roll. Be the witch or the swaggy dude. Six. I'm going to be the swaggy dude five, because I'm just so swaggy. Three, four, five, six. Oh, that's, got, that's two. Uh, so that is, uh, I think at that point, I think you choose uh, between them. Right. Geek life or so what sci-fi are the, what and are fantasy? Geek, yeah, geek life or sci-fi geek and fantasy. Geek life, yeah. sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah. Geek life. Okay, what board game was invented by French film director Albert Lamorice? Yeah. Lamorice, who directed uh, The Red <laughs> Balloon. A. Settlers of Catan. Oh, I Qatar. like that game, Settlers of Catan. Uh, B. Risk. C. Monopoly. Or D. Clue. Which is the most. F- was he French, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Which is the most Frenchy? Uh, I'm going to go with the last one. D. Clue. Wrong, Matt. It was risk. Was it risk? Oh, I love risk. Apparently. So, 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 you, so you remain on that. I thing. risked it all and I lost. Out. You could have had it. No, okay. I could have had it. Oh. Okay, no more. No more. <laughs> oh, Charlie, your turn. Uh, roll, the, roll the six side desk. I'm um, all there. Roll that mug. <laughs> two. <laughs> One, two. Of oh, video games. What kind of animal is Sega's video game hero Sonic? You're hedgehog. It's a blue hedgehog. You are correct. Yeah. Charlie. <laughs> that, I'm so glad. That's, that's, oh come on! That's, that's so unfair. Six. Okay, there my we turn. go. Easy question. Right. Uh, two again. Okay, right, good. Listen. One, two. It's like I'm fancy. Oh come on! Go on. According to the Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy, <laughs> what is the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, oh, yeah. and everything? Forty-two. Correct. Fantastic. Okay, Matt, ready for your really What is the money? approximate mass I mean, like, of the sun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twelve. Oh, if, like, if you don't one, know the answer to that. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Okay. Your turn, Matt. Here we go. Video games. Video um, games. Video games. Video games. Another one on Sonic, please. <laughs> okay. Hellboy works for the B- BPRD. What does this acronym stand for? A. Bureau of Practical Research and Dentistry. B. Better, <laughs> b- better Prey, Run or Die. C. Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. Or D. Band of Pretty Rad Dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? C. Is it C? Uh, C. Bureau, Bureau of yeah. Paranormal. Yeah, it is. I think it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. Boom! That's right, okay, Matthew's okay. back in the game. Okay, do you want to roll, yeah? I get to roll. I get to roll a d12. You got 12. 12. Oh, I got a 12. Uh, Charlie, uh, do you want to okay, roll this? Okay, here we go, boy. Oh. So what powerful. Is that is a 6. 6, baby. A 6. Ooh, on a green. Deep life question. <laughs> so that's 7. In the board game Risk, control of which continent provides the greatest bonus? North America, South America, Africa, or Asia? No, I know the answer. I know the best bonus. Well, does that mean does that mean the biggest? Yeah. Go on quickly. Go on. What's your answer? What was it again? North America, South America, Africa, or Asia? Asia. He's cool. Wow. Oh, good job, Charlie. Roll, roll your D twelve. Oh, I love was, this well, game. Well, that was this uh, game. This is right up my street. 
Uh, one, two. A Geek Life question, Matt. Other way around. Which of these colours is not part of the title of a Pokemon game for Game Boy? Okay. A, blue, B, red, C, black, D, yellow. Black. Is correct. Pokemon Black is a 2010 Nintendo DS Oh, for game. God's sake! <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Good job, Martin. Right. Uh, right. My turn. Uh, two. Just move it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's either sci-fi and fantasy or science and technology. Science, as always. Okay, what is the second largest group of neurons in the human body? A, the brain... B, the, en- the enteric nervous system, C, the spinal cord, or D, the peripheral nervous system. <laughs> what is the second biggest? Do you know? The se- yeah, Give any idea? Second largest group of neurons in the human See, body. I would have said the brain, but I think that's the biggest. Yeah. So I'm going to go with... So what were the... the th- apart from brain, what okay, were uh, the... Okay, the enteric nervous system, the spinal cord, or the peripheral nervous system? Uh, spinal cord. Let's have a look. Spinal cord. Uh, oh, no, it's the enteric nervous system. Oh, oh, classic oh. error, Matt. Classic oh, error. My nervous system. I, 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 I probably wouldn't have Charlie, got that, to be make fair. Make a roll. All right. Two. Two. Such a manly roll. Oh, oh, oh. A video games. Okay. Video games. I really like these um, Dungeons & Dragons alter egos we yeah. seem to have created for yeah, okay. themselves. Um, oh, I like me. Okay. Games. Final Fantasy is a mostly role-playing video game series. I don't know. Dissidia, Final Fantasy, however, takes the classic characters and puts them in what kind of game? Either A, first-person shooter, B, fighting in action, C, music and rhythm, or D, educational reading? Music and rhythm. The answer is fighting in action. Damn. I knew the answer to really? that one. Seriously? How did you know that one? I don't know. <laughs> I just know. So, is this rolling? So, um... Mm-hmm. Over the weekend, I was out um, book shopping with my girlfriend, and we came across a section in uh, W.H. Smith, the romance section. Oh. Okay, right, right. So, um, you know how um, you have, like, sort of trashy novels, trashy romance novels and stuff? Yes. There's a whole mm-hmm. section in yeah, yeah. W.H. Smith with all of them, like the ones you find on Amazon and stuff, like 15p. Um, and they just got the stupidest names, the trashiest titles, and she said, Martin. You can read out the blurbs of these, and if they guess the the name of the book, they can have a podcast point. Oh, okay. So because, okay, I, because right. I'm really far ahead in podcast points, I'm thinking Matt and Charlie could do with some. So if they correctly guess the name of this um, book, I'm going to read the blurb off. I'll do these once per episode. If they guess, or if they guess it sort of um, close enough, um, then I'll give them the podcast point. Can we have a name for this feature? Uh, we're going to call it... The, Martin, the Romantic Martin... Blurb. Blurb story. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> the romantic Blurb Martin challenge. We'll do, yeah. Welcome to the romantic Blurb Martin challenge. Right. The thing is, like, I, like, I, I, I can only think of one book. Okay, so these, these are all like, I don't know. Twilight. Well, these are yeah, all really Twilight, trashy sort of romance novels. Well, so. I actually have heard of them. No, but I'm trying to think if you can guess the, if you can guess the name close enough, then I'll give oh, you the I point. I see. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's start with the blurb. The, uh, the tagline is A Dangerous Assassin. It's a romantic suspense book. Tracy McCain came to Carlton Ranch to meet her cousin's son, but she didn't expect Jack Carlton, the boy's father, to be so suspicious. Nor did she realise that an enemy had followed her, determined to keep her from getting too close to the Carltons. When Tracy is attacked, Jack realises the only way to protect her is to keep her under his own roof. But... Sharing a home with a brave beauty introduces new temptations. And as the danger approaches, Jack knows he must keep Tracy and his son safe so they can become a new family. That's the blur. That's <laughs> that's their that's their selling point. For that this sounds novel. awful. Yeah. <laughs> that's the blur. That's not even the writing. Can you guess what this is called? Help, honey, my wife is an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. What, what, is it, what was the tagline? Oh, uh, not, it was, not quite. Oh, it was a dangerous me. assassin. He kept talking, or, or whoever this is it's speaking, kept talking about the family and unsuspecting of the father. So I think Tracy's dad 
<laughs> name of it. That's a dangerous assassin. <laughs> Uh, okay, you're both wrong, unfortunately. Yeah. Really? I'm going to send this image to you, Matt, so you can put it on the podcast. Um, what, what was the name of the book? Colton Cowboy Protector. <laughs> <laughs> what? By Beth Cornelson. Colton Cowboy Protector. Colton Cowboy Protector. Col- Col- Colton Cowboy Protector. Okay. Yeehaw! Really? I can have a cowboy. Okay, really I've, got, I've got, got one more. Do you want one more? Shall we do two yeah. per episode, then? Yeah, do two per episode. Right, right. so we both fail the first one. All right, okay, okay come on. Good. I've got this, I've got this. Another romantic suspense tagline is to catch a killer. When Wendy Bailey, the closest thing ranch hand Nick Coleman had to a sister, is found dead, Nick is determined to catch the killer. What's more, he's he's sure he has a prime sus- suspect, Adrienne, Wendy's sister. So when Adrienne arrives, claiming he's the guilty one, Nick is furious, but reluctantly they agree to work together to catch the real murderer. But, as they begin to work on the case, an unlikely attraction begins to spark. And, when Adrienne is kidnapped, Nick realise that, realises that he'll not rest until the only woman he has ever loved is returned to his side. Okay. That was passionate. Um, that was really passionate. What was the name of the girl who died? Um, Wendy Bailey. What do you think? What do you think, Charlie? Charlie, what do you think? Uh, okay, wait, wait. So, okay, so there's this girl called Wendy. Yeah. And Plus that, thing that Ranch Hand Nick Coleman had to a sister. Um, family feud's gone wrong. <laughs> what do you reckon, Matt? <laughs> I don't know. Who <laughs> killed my sister? <laughs> do you want to know the real title? Yeah. Cowboy of interest. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy of interest. <laughs> Cowboy of interest. Like, like, I mean, then, then that's not any better than the titles... We've come up with. Is, is it? I, I'm going to send these to Matt so he can have them on on screen. Cowboy right. of interest might have to be the title of this episode. <laughs> Cowboy, and just that picture. <laughs> yeah. So if if anyone was playing at home, maybe they could have got got, got some of their <laughs> if own. If you're playing along at home, yeah. email in with what you think the titles of the books were. No, because we yes. no because they've we, just heard it. B- email in before you hear this. Uh, uh, thanks to my girlfriend Meg for giving me that gem of a segment. Yes, <laughs> absolute. Gem. We weren't very good at it, but maybe yeah. we can get better. I'll have another. If they can guess it right, I give them a podcast point, and they'll, ha- and they'll have another one for uh, next time. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna start looking on Amazon um, <laughs> for the worst books. Sort yeah, by um, price from lowest. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> from no one, rate, rating by lowest. One p. Yeah, you can. What do we call God. it? Martin's uh, uh, oh, romantic blurb Martin segment. <laughs> romantic blurb. <laughs> we need to um, sort of do a romantic sort of romantic blurb. Wow, 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 wow. No. I don't mind. Ready? Here it. Bam. Go. Wow. Wow. Romantic Martin. Bam. Go. Wow. Wow. Blurb segment. Bam. Wow. Wow. It's so romantic. Cool. That's beautiful. Okay, this is nice. Right, good. That's definitely going in the podcast. Yeah. Right, that was part A of episode five, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Is that for, um, thank you for listening and bearing with us so far. Uh, come back in two weeks for the exciting conclusion to Geek Battle. Spoiler alert, Matthew is bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Laters. Okay. In oh. The, oh, in the meantime, like, subscribe, comment on Facebook. Uh, we're and on SoundCloud. It. We might be on Cloud D. Yep. Links all in the description below um, this video, and we'll have them on screen. And as well. email the die dot is cast at outlook dot com. Charlie, do you yeah. want do you want to repeat that uh, email address? Oh, because I couldn't do it last time. Yeah. Die is. No, <laughs> die dot. <laughs> die dot no, is. No, 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 no. <laughs> the die. The die. Dot is cast. The die dot is cast. At outlook. At outlook. Dot com. Dot com. That's right. Email with you your tips, tricks, and party hits. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we, we, we do. We will read every piece of feedback and stuff we get on the show. Yeah. It's fun. We also don't get much, so what yeah. we do get, yeah, we, so we we'll save just, We'll make yeah. do. 
really. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, See you in a bit. Matthew out. Oh, Charlie I'm out. And Charlie. Bye now. <laughs> Bye, thanks, Mum. No, you just had a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of recording. Charlie. No, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, the offer, Mum. You can edit that out, can you? <laughs>